Hey guys, this is iMaster, and this is just going to be another um, iWeb tutorial. It's going to be a little bit more advanced than my other ones, but here we go. So, first of all, I have to give a big shout out to Jim Scott at the Apple iWeb forum uh, for helping me figure out how to do this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you this from file because my website's down at the moment. But, um,. So basically what my problem was is if you went to one of my pages, the nav bar would be up here at the top. But that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was for it to stay down at the bottom like a real Mac. Um, I will have a tutorial on how to make a nav bar like this soon. Hopefully by the weekend, but you know, I have finals going on right now. So that's why there's been a lack of videos. But anyway, back to the video. Um, so to solve this, we embedded the content pages into an iframe. So basically what that does is when I click on one, you see it appears inside of my home page. It doesn't leave the home page. And if I were to go to a page where I have to scroll, such as this one, you scroll down, but the nav navigation bar always stays at the bottom. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. In iWeb, you basically have to um, make take an HTML snippet over here, and inside you want to put uh, you want to put iframe name equals content source src equals um, H whatever your site is and then you're gonna make a page where what you want the um, where you want what you want to display in the iframe originally I made mine iframe source and I just put a little image in there um, on load equals window dot frames content whatever um, I'll put this in the description or link this to a file or something I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it because Sometimes YouTube has trouble with putting codes in descriptions, but I'll find a way. I'll give you a link. Okay, so once you set that up, you're going to go um, publish this to a folder. Now, what I do have to say is really important is the iframe name. I suggest putting that at content just for the sake of this video, for understanding it. Just make sure you remember what that name is. Okay, we're going to close this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, publish mine. So once it's finished pub publishing, um, when this comes up and you click visit site now, then you go to your navigation bar. It'll just bring you to the page. That's not what we want. So, as I said before, we're going to have to go into our um, our code. Now, this didn't publish to the right spot. It published to my desktop, but that's okay. Alright, so I'll go ahead and open this. You want to open the folder called Site, and you want to find your home page. Mine is titled Welcome. So there it is right there. And you want to op open welcome.html. Now I'm going to suggest um, getting a HTML or editor such as Espresso, but text edit will work just as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Espresso. Alrighty. Now we're going to scroll down until we find our links. Uh, let me see. Uh, now the way that you find your link is the keyword is href. So you can do a command F search for href. When I find one, I'll show you. Uh, all right, here's a good one. Right here. Zoom in on that for you. So it's a little paragraph looking thing like this. And we have title. Uh, no, we have an href tag first. Then we have title. 
Then we have alt, okay? Um, you can tell it's a link because of the href and because of the what's in the quotes. You can tell what page it's linking to. So what I'm going to do is after the href tag, I'm going to do a space and then type in T-A-R-R-G-E-T. No, scratch that. T-A-R-G-E-T. Target equals um, quotes content. Now, it won't necessarily be content for you. It's the name that you gave the iframe. Okay, so remember I told you to remember that? It was in quotes. Now, you don't put the quotes in here except for outside. So, it'd be target equals content. And the content is in quotes because we named our iframe content. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one because that can take a little while. But once you've um, gone through all of them, let's see, this would be the lessons one. You can go ahead and click save. Open up your index to test it. And obviously there will be something here, whatever your iframe source is. Um, but when I click on lessons now, there it is inside of the iframe. And the scrolling is all automatic. Um, so guys, it's basically it. Let me just go ahead and go over the negative effects of using this. One, if your site is indexed by Google, someone finds your site via Google, then they will be directed to the content page, not the home page with the content loaded in the iframe. I am currently learning JavaScript. Um, I heard there was a way to do this with JavaScript, so I'm learning about it right now. So if I find out a way to do that, I will be sure to post it. Um, so guys, again, big thanks to all the people at the Apple for Apple iWeb forums. If you have any questions, any at all, go over there. I'm there. Um, the site all about iWeb. He's there. Just tons of people. Um, so again, guys, thanks. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.